Welcome. 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 My beautiful beings of light. Your brilliant light beams are bursting forth even though the earth plane is filled with unrest and chaos. You are becoming your true selves my beloveds. You are remembering and recognizing who you really are, bravo. Bravo. The celestial light realms are so very proud of you for your efforts to evolve in spite of all the negatives that are still being brought to the surface to be cleared away. Good job, all know that it has not been easy for you, good job. You my beloveds are the A-team. That long wait in line in the celestial realms to volunteer for these earth plane assignments has placed you in a most unusual timeline. These moments and now will be written up in the vast history records to be heralded by every generation to come. Bless you my beautiful beings of light for having the courage to answer the call. Still being in the midst of living in this incarnation, it is hard for you to imagine the monumental progress that you have made my beloved beings of light. The Creator has requested that each of you be gifted with four additional guardian angels. They are coming to you now to add additional light, love, and assistance. They will help reflect more unconditional light and love directly to you. Invite them in my beloveds and ask them their names and welcome them as part of your angelic support staff. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to reconnect within the celestial realms with some very old dear friends. The more you acknowledge and connect with your eternal higher self the more you remember and know you are this essence, my beloved's beings of grace. Sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations, and doubts. With the last out breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace, and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the Creator please ask the Creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light, and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your shield of protective light. My beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the Creator, cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing, and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Across from you is an elevator. Your angels push the elevator button, and by the way there is no other button on the elevator door panel except up. This elevator goes up into infinity and the only down portion is back into this white marble corridor. The elevator doors open and you experience this very warm inviting elevator cab with a golden glowing interior. You see lots of up button selections to choose from on the inside elevator door panel. The angels select level 12 and away the elevator goes. The ride is smooth and easy very safe and secure. 
the elevator slows to a very smooth easy stop and the doors open. You glance out the door and walk forward stepping on a very safe and secure pink cloud. You can't believe it, in front of you is this huge rainbow bridge. The angels explain that it is very safe and secure, as you take your first steps inside the rainbow you instantly begin smiling. You realize that this is kind of like walking in a bouncy house that you see at birthday parties for children. Your angels tell you to let the child inside of yourself out so that you can experience the bounce and play that comes with joy. As you bounce, you are amazed at being able to see through the various rainbow bands of colors. The colors are so much more vivid than they appear on the earth plane. This is just too much fun you tell yourself. You are approaching the other side of the rainbow bridge and step out when you reach it. Smiling and laughing you look around for the pot of gold that is always rumored to be at the rainbow's end. Your angels just roll with laughter. They tell you that there isn't a pot of gold but there is, they tell you, a pot of blessings, as they point it out to you there on your right. You notice that there is a path off into a wooded area ahead and this is where your angels are guiding you to walk walking down the path a ways, at first you only see a little, then there in the distance you spot wooden log benches placed into a circle around a campfire. Arriving at the circle, your angels show you where to sit and hand you a cup of tea from the campfire hearth's tea kettle. Looking around, the area appears rather rustic and homey. There is a sense of peace and divine calm in the air. You feel very much at ease. You always love these inner spiritual journeys as you see the most unusual wildlife, flowers, plants, trees, and colors. You never see these on planet Earth. You hear telepathic voices coming in your direction and look back at the circle and realize that you are not joined by other beings of light. Your angels begin to tell you that this is your spiritual family, but you stop them as you begin to recognize most every essence in this circle. Tears of joy and remembering are rolling down your cheeks as you have missed them so much. There is so much telepathic chatter going on that you can't tell who is speaking first. They are just as excited to see you. You take a few moments with each other to remember the many agreements and contracts that you have held with each one in one lifetime after another. Oh the parts that you have played you tell them and they echo back the same to you. What a special reunion this is, it means so much to you as you've been in the earth plane ranks trying to remember who you really are for a while now. This gathering and reunion all makes perfect sense as you connect the dots of each lifetime with the characters that each has played for the other. Of course there are some characters in your lifetimes that are not in your spiritual family group. Your angels tell you that many other friends that are not necessarily in your spiritual family unit have played roles or small part for you as well. Many advocacies and parents are typically not within your own spiritual family. Parents are selected by you and for their abilities to help you experience and learn specific lessons or traits. There are agreements and contracts between all parties. They are playing a part just as you are playing a part. The angels remind you that even if those experiences and traits were not pleasant they were something that you selected to experience and learn. That reminder rings truth in your heart. You nod your head in confirmation and remember that you have selected and scripted what has transpired on all levels within your incarnated lifetimes. On a lighter note the reunion continues and once again you hear the chatter of telepathic communications darting back and forth as quickly as you can respond. Such a joyous occasion this is. The angels pass around marshmallows and sticks for everyone to make s'mores using the campfire. This will be quite a treat for everyone as food in the celestial realms is not really needed. Of course to make s'mores you need the chocolate and graham crackers and the angels bring that around next. You put your marshmallow on your stick and poke it into the campfire. You pull your marshmallow out a moment later on fire of course. You find yourself blowing out the flames and placing your toasted marshmallow on its chocolate and graham cracker bed as you top it off with another graham cracker to make a s'mores sandwich. Taking a bite, yum, heaven you think to yourself, seer heaven. Each of the family members does the same and all love the treat and experience of sharing it with you. Your angels tell you to give everyone a hug goodbye for now as it is time to return. The angels remind you that you can always communicate with your spiritual family they are just on the other side of the veil of forgetfulness. 
they also remind you that your spiritual family is around you more than you realize on a daily basis. They suggest to call them in when you need extra support and love. You look around and wave and tell them until next time. You begin your walk back up the path. The angels tell you to select a blessing from the blessing pot right there to your left. You select one from the pot and proceed on to the entrance of the rainbow bridge and your return. Entering the rainbow bridge you find you just can't help yourself and bounce all the way back across the bridge, smiling and laughing all the way. Soon you are back on the other side standing in the elevator ready to return. The angels press the button that says white marble corridor and away the elevator goes. On the way up you could feel yourself floating as the density fell away, however on the return you are feeling the density returning as you descend back towards planet Earth. The elevator slows and smoothly stops. The elevator doors open and you instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror, you are holding on to that blessing and wonder what it is. The angels remind you to let it unfold in its own time. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plain language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.